Hello and welcome to this episode of Business Planet here in Nantes, France. Every year there are around 450,000 business transfers in Europe. It's a vital process for businesses, but around a third don't survive it. But one of the methods which works is the creation of a cooperative when employees buy the business. Let's take a look. In 2004, 25 years after he created his business, Jean-Paul Aspo decided to sell it. But the potential buyers intended to outsource some services, an idea he didn't like. He therefore decided on the creation of a cooperative. And that's how his former production manager became the managing director of the company. I went looking for a leader. It was fundamental for the success of the project. I put up a third of the price myself and I stayed on for two and a half years to make sure it was working. 80% of the employees voted for a cooperative to take over the business and they each invested a minimum of 1,500 euros. We started out a healthy company and since the takeover we've doubled our turnover. Now we're making around 10 million euros per year. And we've doubled our staff to around 100 now and all that during an economic crisis. This may be a cooperative, but for all that, it's a real business with a solid business plan and real profit targets. Our model isn't auto management. We have a steering committee which works out the company's strategy. Then we approve it with the management board. Today, cooperatives account for 5.4 million jobs in Europe, a figure which is always growing. So let's find out more about how the system works. The Union of Cooperatives in Western France helped the workers prepare and carry out the transition, and they still provide advice. Their experts helped the company draw up new business plans. Transferring a business to the employees cuts the risk of failure in half. It means preserving company know-how and reassures clients, partners, and of course the workers involved in the project. This organization works directly with the employees to get the message across and give them all the keys to understand the system. We teach the employees to become co-entrepreneurs in the company through training. For example, how to read an accounts conclusion, understanding the legal status of a cooperative. This enables them to take part in collective decisions about the business. For me, the keys to success are sufficiently long-term support, a strong and unchallenged leader, lots of communication, saying what we're going to do and doing what we said we would.